Hi, everybody. It is July 3rd, 2021. Just want to let you know that it has cooled off. Yeah, cooled off. I think it's in the 90s, but it has cooled off, and it's actually a beautiful day here in Montana, close to Canada. Um, what's been going on with the weather? Well, let's do Hurricane Elsa first, Barbados. Not good. Pounded St. Vincent with heavy rain and winds on Friday as the storm was tracking towards Haiti. Minister of Home Affairs, Information and Public Affairs Wilfred A. Abrahams urged Barbadians to shelter in place and only leave their homes if the structures were damaged. Elsa's progress should be monitored by the Windward Islands, Leeward Islands, the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, Cuba and the Cayman Islands, the Miami-based NHC said. So it's on its way. Um, and here. You can watch live when they demolish the other portion of the building in Surfside, Florida. It's an emergency order to take it down before Elsa comes. You know, that's a lot of condos in that one building there. Uh, one side of it remained standing, but they're going to take it down. And I don't, I've been looking, you know, to hear about all of the people who live in this portion. Uh, have they been able to get back into the building because of, you know, what has been taking place, the other portion that collapsed? They have all of their belongings in there. You know, so once again, a whole lot of people are displaced. So eventually it's going to be coming down. I don't know what time, but you can watch live. Oh, I had paused it. Let's see. Nope, not down yet. All of their belongings in that building. Okay, so what do we have here? We have an, an, an incredibly destructive mudslide in Japan.
I hope that guy was driving fast. Unbelievable. Well, believable. Considering everything. Look at that. Oh my god. Thank you, Mr. R.C. Sekar. A um, whole lot of people now, just every single day, every day, more and more people displaced, losing their homes. This, this was strange. A pit of fire has boiled to the surface in the Gulf of Mexico after an undersea gas pipeline ruptured. Several fire control boats were dispatched to pump water over the flames. Officials from the Mexican oil company say it took five hours to put out the blaze using nitrogen. No one was injured, and authorities say the explosion did not generate any oil spill. Yeah, well, unfortunately, because of all of the lies, you don't know if they're actually telling the truth. But my God, all of the life, all of the life, that is being, I just, it's really, oh, it's just piling up. Life being rendered, you know, either dead or having to suffer. Wow. Calgary, Canada. God. Oh my god. I ran out to try to cover things, but Jesus Christ. I am too, but he was unable to get out to protect his garden. So, yeah, Calgary. Just, I believe, yesterday. Oh. Get up, get up, get up. Wow, it's a hill in front of my house. My God. 
notice how big the size when it's bigger than this it will destroy your car and your home in front of my home is so much hail this hail can damage a home you know not just only home but cars okay last year look it's a hail that is so scary i know and oh my god i'm scared with the thunderstorm either let me check my backyard how was the backyard oh my jesus look at that France. I guess it's global warming. Where is this? Oh, France. Ah, pour vu Yael son magasin avait été inondé, la fleur disparaît, les les potiches, on en a dedans. storm hit Flum via Le Bains in the Vodes this Tuesday, June 29. The element was short and brutal. The central street was especially badly damaged, where hail clogged the drainage devices for water drainage. And the water level in the street rose to about one meter. It was like an apocalypse, says Liddy Barbo, the local mayor. The basements of houses and shops are heavily flooded. And this happened on the eve of the opening of the tourist season in the city. During the liquidation of the consequences of the disaster, two people were injured who were sent to the Remireman Hospital. Well, I wasn't exaggerating when I said it's every day now. Australia, you know, sometimes I come across <clears throat> videos that are posted, you know, as a current happening, and sometimes they're not current, so my hunch is that this probably took place in Australia. Biggest hailstorm in the history of the country. Don't know about that, but... CFS Kingston Brigade Lieutenant 1 Megan Robinson said it was fortunate residents in the hospital's aged care facilities were okay. We went to the hospital because the alarms were going down. <laughs> Structure to collapse in the community health sector. 
reception at the hospital. That uh, recording that you hear, the audio, that's on this video. It's not me, so. But, wow, okay. A huge tornado forming in Illinois. Huge? Oh, yeah. Now, I don't want to play this video because in the very beginning, she announces storm chasers and, well, they have an... Uh, a real fast uh, knee-jerk reaction to hit you with a copyright strike. But take a look at this. Really? Okay. Um, people really need to understand that we are engaged in a weather war. In a weather war. Okay? And this tornado, while you're watching it, it's so not natural. And yes, on my playlist, Weather Modification, I have videos on how man can create what you're looking at right here. So, um, my God. And you know, listening to these people who are filming all of this, whether it's the hail, whether it's the tornadoes or flooding or whatever, you know, it, it, I, I am so struck with how it just never begs questions, you know. Tornadoes used to be very thin. They would last a few minutes. Now they go on forever. Now they're, well, we've had tornadoes one mile wide. Certainly in 2011, when those tornadoes were just ripping through the country, you know, um, well, yeah, Calgary flooding, also don't want to play this, but Calgary is not that far away from where I live. I thought on this day that we were going to get a thunderstorm here in Montana because the clouds were looking mighty big and mighty manufactured. The winds were pretty intense later on that night. So, sorry for all of you who have had to endure this. This is another apartment flooded West Hartford, Connecticut. It just kept coming and coming. Rain pouring in through the ceiling just outside of Shannon Laris's back door last night, right into the kitchen. Just the leaks are contained to this part of the house, between this corner of the dining room and the back door and the pantry. This is where the worst damage is. Now, while most of the water is gone from Shannon's apartment, now she's dealing with the aftermath, the mold. And it's not just here on this floor. This isn't the first time Shannon has had to deal with flooding. Not even two weeks ago, rain came in the exact same spot as last night. And there were three firemen talking to me. The water was raining in the building. As they're speaking with me, the ceiling falls on top of them. Shannon says when she first moved in, property management was responsive with leaks. But now, she still hasn't heard back about her floods. Called them this morning. Not a peep. Not a, I'm so sorry. Nada, we got somebody on it. I was going to call them on Monday in two weeks and say, okay, it's been two weeks. Can you come and fix this? And this happened before I could even do that. I tried calling. I tried calling management and no response. Ignoring, that seems to be a, uh, an activity that a lot of people are engaged in today. Just ignore. Ignore them. Don't return calls. Don't return emails. Just, hey. And I guess, you know, uh, people feel entitled to do that. Uh, it's causing a lot of problems. Bradford County in Pennsylvania also got flooded. Um, 
Also in Bradford County, Jason Ludwig was at it again, capturing flash flooding, this time from Rome Township. You can see a road once again covered in water and some of that flood water making it a nervous night for car and property owners. It's going to take a while for the flash flooding to recede. Yep. So, there's an awful lot of our country that's very wet right now. Um, so, you know, you can just go on here, put in tornado, put in flooding, put in hailstorm, filter it out for the day. It is amazing. It is truly amazing. You know, I haven't shown you the flooding in Russia or China or uh, India, um, Indonesia. Oh, right, that volcano eruption in uh, the Philippines. This is tall in the Philippines. Philippines. Tall volcano eruption prompts evacuations, although officials said the volcanic unrest was not accompanied by an earthquake. Thousands of people were urged to evacuate nearby villages. The Philippines' second most active volcano, Tall, erupted on Thursday, blowing a 1-kilometer high, 3,280-foot high plume of steam and ash into the sky. The tiny volcano south of the capital, Manila, led officials to raise an alert level due to heightened risks to nearby villages. Magmatic materials came into contact with water in the main crater of Tall Volcano in Batangas province, government experts said. The activity set off the steam-driven blast with no accompanying volcanic earthquake, officials said, adding that it was still unclear if the unrest could lead to a full-blown eruption. The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, FIVOLS, raised the alarm to the third of a five-step warning system. This means that there is magmatic intrusion at the main crater that may further drive succeeding eruptions, FIVOLS said. Alert level 5 means a life-threatening eruption that could endanger communities is underway. So, a lot of people in the Philippines are displaced. Now, everything that you are seeing can be induced by man. By man. So, when people leave comments asking me about uh, the... Uh, Oh, the planets that are coming close, Nibiru and the, uh, what is it, the solar minimum? I can't even remember all of that stuff because, frankly, if man has the technology to create all of this, then no one can answer anything. But because I have seen an awful lot of those electromagnetic frequencies in use on radar, man is using those frequencies. So, um, yeah, my first thought is, you know, man is creating all of this havoc. Other people have asked about the uh, magnetic uh, pole shift do some research on harp and harp related facilities all over the world especially those uh, in Russia and China uh, Alaska find out how incredibly dangerous they are and yes they can man can induce that shift so there's nothing at this point, you know, that we can look at and say, oh, this is the reason. This is the cause. And it's interesting, too, because as I was doing, you know, just a little search of that volcano tall in the Philippines, you know, I came across this video. Uh, the volcano, Iceland volcano, the one that, yeah, erupted here. 
Okay. This man in Iceland, just Icelandic, uh, posted this video. Suspicious, suspicious earthquakes raise concern. And I will link below to it. But what does he say right in here? Man-made earthquakes are on the power. Man-made earthquakes. Man-made earthquakes around the power station. Station that you should be aware of if you are doing your own research through the extensive net of seismometers that are located around there, available online. And especially since just south of the power station, we have this new earthquake spot where we see frequent earthquakes and scientists have not been able to explain it to us. But in this photo, we are on the mountain just above the power station, overlooking the power lines to Reykjavik. And that strange new earthquake spot is just around the bottom left corner of this photo. No craters there, just a lava field. So It's a little hard to understand him. You've got to listen very carefully. Um, but yeah, I mean, he planned on just posting a tourist video and he noticed that there were an awful lot of earthquakes going off around their power station. And yeah, we have Russia, which... <laughs> it's amazing how this is happening all over the world cities, streets, uh, suburbia, rural, doesn't matter. Many places, doesn't matter if you're in a flood zone or not. And suddenly you have two, three feet of water that you're walking through on the street and cars are flooded and homes are flooded all over. And people actually think, what? It's global warming? It's climate change? When People, please understand that if that were the case, we would not be seeing this kind of destruction all over the world happening simultaneously. A, um, a radical change, a radical change, radical changes are brought about because they are forced by man it would have been incremental changes. Oh, but Carol, we've been talking about climate change for 30 years. Do some research and find out that everything that you've heard, you know, from the climate change, I don't know, hoaxers, are uh, just lies. I even have a climate change uh, hoax. I think it's called Playlist. Listen to all of the very well-respected, renowned scientists, climate scientists all over the world. They, they are saying 
this IPCC out of the United Nations, the intergovernmental, not scientific, intergovernmental climate change, that panel, all they're doing is producing policy for countries. And they've all said, you know, essentially, one said, but it's pretty much uh, what all I all have said about that IPCC assessment that comes out, you know, uh, periodically. It's worthy of the nearest garbage pail. Okay, stay safe, everybody. We're in for a weekend of weather all over, but you got that hurricane coming, and who the hell knows what's going to happen. Alrighty, have a nice weekend. Ciao.